started uh, going for the Vox AC15 and my Rickenbacker Preferi. This is my baby. This was the first really good guitar I got. Uh, I was listening to Death, even though I don't play it much these days. Uh, it's a bit of a delicate guitar to live and lying around when there's youngsters about. Um, I just love it. It's like an old friend, this guitar. You might not see each other for a long time, but when you do, it's like time never passed. <laughs> It's just great. I love it. It's got a really accessible neck on it. And because I've not got big hands, uh, the neck really suited me. Uh... Yeah, it's a fire glow finish. Uh, and it, when I got it, it had see there one little ding there uh, this one came from music ground in Leeds I don't know if anybody knows that shop it's uh, been closed down since even though I think the, the guys that run it are still operational somewhere in London and what have you uh, they got busted for selling fakes or something I don't know uh, this is genuine uh, it's a lot harder to fake a record um, and I've checked it on the site. This was made in September 1999, which will be about right because I got it in January 2001, uh, is when I got this guitar. So I've had it quite a while and I've looked after it. Uh, so that would have been right for around about that time frame for about a year to 18 months to get a ripping back over and what have you. Now I believe the waiting time is three years plus. Um, it's a gorgeous guitar, it really is. Um, I just love it, you know. Everybody should play Rick at one point in the time. Uh, there's something unique about them, they are unique guitars. You don't um, see as much in guitar shops in general because like I say with how Rick, Rick and Backer manufactured them uh, and how they work uh, it's not like Fender and Gibson where they build a lot more uh, they tend to be a, a little bit more limited in supply um, but this is a standard sort of model 330 um, it's got uh, high gain pickups uh, the 60s and 50s ones generally come with uh, toaster pickups uh, these were, were built I think in the, was it late 60s or 70s um, to handle more high gain uh, personally you can get that classic Rickenbacker sound on them you know so it's it's fine um, you know you've got you can three ways selector uh, you know two volumes tone uh, this one here it's uh, the blend switch I believe, if I get this right, because I always muck it up, um, it controls how much bass in the neck pickup and you can shape the sound of it, something like that. I, I probably can't explain it as good as some other people, but once you, you get used to it, it's a good little thing to have. <laughs>
just a great guitar I thought I'd just share it with you very quickly. I uh, apologise for the pop playing. Uh, I've not had a lot. I've been away on holiday, so I've not had a lot of practice time. I'm rusty as hell. My hands hurt. Um, yeah, so if you get to try one of these, please do, because they are such a unique guitar. They are beautiful looking instruments. And, you know, go do it. You'll love it. Okay, see you later. Bye.